Here at the Allen Brooks Nature Center, we feature native plants in our gardens. One of them is the choke cherry bush, and it is showing a wonderful example of how wildlife uses the native plants. So on this choke cherry, we have a swallowtail butterfly who lays her eggs. The swallowtail butterfly is the same butterfly. She lays her eggs, she returns to the same plant uh, every time to lay her eggs. And so that's what she's doing right now. And it's only one swallowtail that, per plant. So we also have some eggs on some of the leaves. We have examples of, of each, almost each stage of the life cycle. So here on this leaf, we have a freshly laid egg. And right beside it, we have the initial stage of the larva. You can see that that little caterpillar, when it first emerges from the egg, it looks like a little bit of a bird dropping. And that's a protective strategy to fool the predators into thinking that it's a dropping and so it won't get eaten. As the caterpillar matures, it grows and it changes color. So a little bit farther up the tree, we see an example of a much larger caterpillar which is green, so it blends in beautifully with the, with the leaves. It's very hard to spot them. And their strategy for defense changes as well. If you look closely, you can see some spots that look like eyes on its back. And that is intended to fool its predators into thinking that it's, it's aware of the predators, so don't eat me, I know you're there. And the third stage of the life cycle, um, the caterpillar, when it's mature enough, will build a chrysalis around it and then hibernate in that chrysalis over the winter. In the springtime, it will emerge from the chrysalis as an adult swallowtail butterfly and go on to lay eggs of its own.